How's it going, Lone Star Gardener here? It is a beautiful day, ooh, windy. So we're gonna be talking in the carport because it's really windy outside, but it just so happens that the best day to actually start doing some work outside, super windy, but we'll figure that out later. The last time y'all saw me, winter showed up, snow everywhere, ice everywhere, but we are good to go. 70 something today, 70s during the rest of the week. So we're actually gonna start doing some stuff today. And so I come back from a week long vacation, came back to some really, really pretty clover. Check this out. But what also grew were the weeds. <laughs> Look at all that. Yeah, that's bread for the birds. Look at all that weed. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take care of that. <laughs> and we're going to do a few other things. Um, should we go over the game plan first before we start? Yeah, let's go over the game plan. All right, so first what we're going to do is we're going to start the process of putting artificial turf over pretty much everything that's around the corn plots. It's pretty much the whole backyard. And to do that, we have to get rid of what's growing now so it doesn't grow through the artificial turf. So the step that we're gonna do today is just get the grass cut and then either today or tomorrow, I'm gonna spray the glyphosate that I have right there. <laughs> we're gonna spray the glyphosate down. Um, it's been out in the elements <laughs> since the summertime. So it's been an extreme hot, extreme freezing. So we'll see if it's even good. But we'll do a couple of sprays. Um, want to do it probably, want to do it tomorrow. Ideally, I'd do it later in the week, but it's supposed to rain later in the week. So we'll get it down tomorrow. It's fine. I wouldn't have to do another spray anyway after the rain. So we're just going to get it all cut. And then everything that's in the, there's some weeds growing around the corn plots here, around the borders. Kind of bright, you can't see. There's stuff around inside the borders. We're gonna hit it with the lawnmower as much as we can and then just uh, hand pull everything else that I can't get the lawnmower on uh, without tearing up the borders. <laughs> so we'll do that today. And also it's almost planting time. So we're gonna set up, this is gonna be a, a few days of video. It'll just be one quick video for y'all. I wanna take pretty much the whole week to do this video um, only because I have time. Uh, it's Tuesday today and Sunday I plan on planting potatoes in the grow bags and then in the garden tub we're going to do onions, Halloween radishes, I'm excited for those, and then some uh, carrots. To do that we're just going to set up the main irrigation line going to uh, the potatoes. Where the potatoes and sweet potatoes are, we're not going to connect them up or anything, we're just going to get that uh, half inch tubing snaked around and down and also i think we're gonna do we're gonna get the container one set up too because i was gonna wait until around april to do the plant all my container plants so the summer plants around april but pops wants to start some strawberries and we're gonna put the strawberries in uh, a few of the grow bags so i might as well just get it set up and then um, we'll probably plant those strawberries too this weekend. That's probably all that we're gonna do. I'm not gonna go into the big details of how I get the irrigation line in. You can check out irrigation video one, part one, and that's a little bit more um, in depth, not really in depth because I mean, you're just connecting tubes together with some sockets, but everything's from Dripworks. I'll put the, the website down in the, in the description just like I did in the first video. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's stop talking, let's start mowing and getting some irrigation lines set up. So let's go. All right, day two, it's really windy again. So, <laughs> so sorry about the wind. So we cut the grass yesterday and I was gonna spray the glyphosate today, but it's still super windy. It was super windy last night and it's probably gonna be super windy 
tonight, which is when I was gonna spray because usually in the evening the wind dies down, but not today, probably not yesterday, probably not tonight. So I'm gonna save you all the trouble of showing you how I set up for the, uh, the irrigation lines. We're gonna set it up to where the sweet potatoes and potatoes are gonna be. They'll be right back here. So I'm gonna set up a line that comes all the way down from the side yard, all the way down here. And it's probably gonna end right there, probably in line with the that white top that we have covering the um, one of the water lines. So probably from there, and then I was just gonna do that one today, but I mean, it's 70, even though it's windy, it's still really nice. If I'm up to it, which I probably will be, I'm gonna set up the container irrigation line too. And so that's two of the four. Maybe I'll do the other ones too, we'll see. But we'll cut back um, if anything comes up that I think y'all should see that I didn't cover in part one. It's just connecting the tubes to the uh, easy lock um, mechanisms that they have for the half inch tubing. So if anything else comes up, you'll see, and I'll show you uh, the finished results. We're not gonna connect them to anything. We're just getting the main line to where it's gonna be, uh, to where the containers are, to where the in-ground sweet potatoes are gonna be, and also the container regular potatoes are gonna be right here, right in this area. So we're just getting that line out, and we'll see you here in a little bit. All right, let me catch y'all before the wind gets me. So I went ahead and connected the sweet potato and potato zone B2, yeah, zone, no, other way around, zone 2B, and works perfect, tested it out, so if water can get all the way out there and snake around everywhere, it could definitely get to everywhere else. So, I was getting ready to work on the container zone, and if you saw from part one, I had went ahead and set up, there's another one over here, there it is. Uh, just to see if it would work and it does but my what's been keeping me up all night is how I was going to get even water into the containers so right now I just had one line um, coming up from the floor from the ground and then I was just gonna have it extend just the side and then have flag emitters just uh, pour water in but then I was thinking uh, one side's gonna get it mostly so how do I get it on the other side? So what I was thinking, what kept me up even more, is well maybe uh, have it wrapped around in a U. And so the other side can also get flag emitters and maybe even the flat part of the U. But then I was thinking, if I was gonna take the time and try to wrap around half inch tubing, which really isn't pliable, it is, but not what I'm trying to do with it, and just make a U, why don't I just make it easier on myself and use quarter inch tubing. I'll have the quarter inch tubing come up just like the half inch tubing is right here and then just have the uh, then get a meter line quarter inch emitter line and then just circle it around around the plant and around the container. So I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so different plan on using the flag emitters. I'm still gonna use the flag emitters on the boxes because um, like the raised beds that I have. Uh, can you see right there? <laughs> I'll use them on there because for that, I can for sure have just a straight line like this. Oh, spider. <laughs> I can, on the raised beds and boxes, I can still have the, the straight line of line with the flag emitters in like I was wanting to do with here. But I can just have it just go along the the length of the box, those are uh, four foot boxes, uh, four by two boxes, and I could just do that. So, change of plan on the containers and everything else except for the raised beds for the herbs, the flowers, and the sunflowers. Yeah, with those I'll still use these. But with everything else, quarter inch tubing and quarter inch emitter line. <laughs> so, we're gonna do that, but let me show you um, how I snuck, how I snaked, snuck, how I snaked around the uh, the zone 2B for the sweet potatoes and the potatoes. And then I think we're gonna be done. But let's check it out. Okay, so if you saw from part one, uh, everything's connected to the four-way spout and the, uh, there they are, the timers. So we're going from the timers 
This is 2B and it's just gonna snake around, corner around the corner, <laughs> going behind all that, behind the little porch. There we go, comes back. Let's go around the length of the yard. Another corner. I was gonna have it go over to this, um, this end, but the gate wouldn't be able to clear it. So I went ahead and just cut it short right here. So this is going to be, it's going to go under the, uh, the trellis for the gourds and the sugar, sweet, sweet sugar pumpkins underneath there goes down to the second level and goes around. This is where the sweet potatoes are going to be going around the length and then stops right here. So this area are going to be three or four, maybe five containers for uh, potatoes. Uh, sweet potatoes over there. I might have said pumpkins, but sweet potatoes right there. And just regular potatoes in buckets. And it was funny. So all that I just kind of pulled from the, the roll, the 500 foot roll that I had. And it came out perfect, exactly where I wanted to. So as you can see, <laughs> I already tested it. Water came out fine, excellent pressure. And um, I'm also gonna do the quarter inch tubing and emitters going from here maybe two right there and then I think I'm gonna do each um, for the containers each container is gonna have its own emitter line coming out from this main line so that's what we're gonna do and that is day two um, it's Wednesday so uh, I think we're good to go the potatoes are gonna go into the ground Ooh, my hair is whack so the potatoes are gonna go in the ground in their containers on Sunday today's Wednesday so on Sunday that's why I wanted to get that irrigation line set up and actually I'm gonna to have to wait until that quarter inch tubing and emitter line comes in yeah so but everything else is gonna go in um, we'll wait on the potatoes because I have to wait for that line to come in but in the garden tub we're gonna have uh, onions Halloween radishes and then the rainbow and other kind of carrots on here. So those will go in. I'm just hand watering. I, I plan to hand water that. I might hook it up to some, uh, to one of the lines, one of the zones, maybe. So we'll do that. We'll get everything ordered. We'll get it set up. And that's gonna be it for the video. I'll do another video whenever I have everything, um, the tub planted. And then also whenever I have the potatoes planted right here, right there. And the sweet potatoes, uh, they need to be uh, planted in the summer. Uh, I've had better success with them planted towards when it's warmer as opposed to now when it's kind of warm, kind of cool. Uh, so we'll wait until then to plant those. But everything else, um, you'll see, you'll see first. And um, so this will be, I'm gonna name this part two, irrigation project part two. And so part three is gonna be whenever I um, connect the line to the other zones. And then part four is gonna be when I actually have everything connected, the emitters, uh, the emitter line connected, the tubing connected, everything's good to go. And I turn it on and everything starts getting watered. So that'll be part four. So uh, any advice on any of the irrigation that I'm doing, um, any advice on the quarter inch tubing, the quarter inch emitters, let me know. Um, you'll be first to see whenever I set it up. Whenever I get it, I'll put it on my Instagram. So check on my Instagram, uh, Lone Star underscore Gardener. It's in the description. So give me like, subscribe, give me advice, and stay safe. We'll see y'all next time.